All right, here's a quick guide to creating things like tubes using Bezier curves in Blender. So I'm going to go to Shift A, Add, go down and look for Curve, Bezier, and I get in there. <clears throat> you can see you get this sort of default curvature Bezier. You can say hit Tab and go into Edit Mode, and you've got these typical Bezier curve points and so on. You can G to grab these and move them around. Of course, you can use snaps. You can R to rotate these points to straighten this out. I can hold down Control, for instance, and now you can see it's snapping so I get a straight line. I don't know why they don't give you a straight line to begin with, but whatever. You can also grab, say, an endpoint, E, and extrude and start to add in extra points. And then you can, again, further move, rotate, scale. You can also grab individual parts of these arms. I can just say grab that. Now you can see this allows me to set, get sort of finer control over the curvature. Uh, you can also select <coughs> two points. Let me actually separate this one a little bit. So you can see this one and this one. Now what I can do is I can right click and subdivide. This puts an extra point in the middle where you need it. Okay. So once you get all that, you'll just add a little three-dimensionality to this. I'm going to go back to object mode. I'm going to go over here to the uh, side panel and look for this little dedicated object data properties panel. It just looks like a little curve. You're going to look for the section that says geometry. And you'll see in there, under, to my mind, a strangely named section called bevel, you want to add in depth. Now, right now you can see it's set to zero, so you want to say add in something like whatever the thickness is. And you can see I just put in a 0.2 meters and you can see it gives me this kind of a thickness. Now understand that this is still sort of a visualization. It's not considered actual polygonal information. Uh, and you can still go in here after the fact, even with this turned on, and do all the same editing and you can just see all the updates. <coughs> now in addition, below the depth you have a resolution. Uh, I can't remember exactly what the correlation is, but you'll notice if I go way down here to uh, 1, you get what looks like a six-sided result. So, you know, more suitable for game res, for instance. Now again, this is a visualization. If you want to have an editable mesh out of this, you need to convert it to a mesh. I'm going to do a search for this spacebar. Start typing in CONV. You'll see Object Convert To. Click on that, and you'll see Mesh From, blah, blah, blah. You'll notice I have actually created geometry. If I want, though, I can go down here to the Convert To and then turn on Keep Original. And now you can see I have the original Bezier and this new item, which is the geometry. You'll notice now if I hide the Bezier curve, this, if I go to Edit Mode, is actual geometry. So that's how you use curves to create things like tubes.